Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my name is Asan and today we are going to create Elementor header and footer using plugin in Elementor WordPress and we are not using Elementor Pro plugin before starting work it's my request please subscribe my channel thank you now back to our work so we are using Elementor free version plugin now you see header and footer so we are going to create it now go to dashboard on left side you see plugin so click on add new plugin then in search plugin write jack elementor kit so this is plugin we will use so you will install this plugin and activate it and after activation on left side you see jack elementor kit and then you see templates so first we are going to create adder so click on it and then you see create adder template adder template to use them across your website so you can create multiple adder also so click on add new adder so click on it and then you see adder template title and then you see create filter condition create filter where your header will show so we are going to add condition now you see add condition to display so click on it and we are going to display this adder on all side now you see location we set all side and then click on create now you see adder template is created now expand it and then you see template title condition we added display on all site location priority one edit clone delete so click on edit so now we are going to create adder and then you see drag widget a plus icon so click on it and then you see layout flex box and grid so click on flex box so click on it and then you see select your structure now select two column layout now structure added so in first column we are going to add logo in second column we are going to add menu now you see edit container so click on it and then you see container width now set 25 percentage and again click on second column or container so click on it and then you see 50 percent now set it 75 total 100 percent width if you want to add some styling on background now you see main container section edit container so click on it on left side you see layout style advanced you see multiple setting and then you see style so click on it if you want you can add background type now you see so it's up to you so you can do setting according to requirement now click on plus column plus icon and then you see multiple widget so we are going to add logo now you see site logo we are not using elementor pro plugin that's why widget log so we are going to add image now you see image widget so drag and drop here and then choose image so this is our logo we selected our logo is in white png format now select now you see logo added and then you see image resolution now make it full caption link now select link media file custom url now select and then you see paste url or type so we are going to add our home page url now paste so edit now go to style and then you see alignment left so we are going to add background color for edit container because we are using white logo now click on edit container we are in style background now you see so you can set color scheme according to requirement now you see logo edit so this is our logo now click on another column container plus icon so we are going to add menu in search widget right here menu and then you see j kit navigation menu so drag and drop here now you see menu edit now you see menu setting so you can select your menu so we select our main menu now you see our menu is display on header and then you see alignment right display direction vertical horizontal some menu position bottom so this is our sub menu drop down now make it top now you see left now make it right now you see now select bottom extra sub menu position right responsive breakpoint we select tablet and then you see mobile menu setting so click on it image resolution mobile menu icon mobile menu close icon now scroll up you see style so click on it now you see menu height 80 background type mobile background color padding if you want you can add padding or margin now you see border radius 
and then you see menu item style so click on it so our menu color is black now you see normal now make it white now you see and then you can set hover and active color scheme so you can add color scheme and vision styling according to requirement so you can set normal hover active color scheme and then you see item text active background you see sub menu item style and then you see icon library indicator item indicator padding margin border type sub menu again you see normal hover active color scheme if you want you can change background type now you see white now select classic now make it black now you see our sub menu drop down background color change to black so you can set according to requirement and then you see color item border first style you see multiple color scheme and styling and then you see sub menu panel style hamburger menu style so click on it and then you see position right hamburger icon width icon size background type and then scroll down you see multiple option change background close border mobile menu logo if you want you can set different logo maximum width width height for mobile menu logo again you see edit container so click on it so we are going to set alignment with logo and menu now go to layout and then you see align item center now you see center position now on top you see desktop tablet mobile portrait so click on mobile now you see display is not good on mobile layout so we are going to set container width now you see first container column so click on it now you see 100 percent now select percentage now make it 25 so it's up to you now you see we set 40 and then you see another container or column so click on edit container and then you see pixel now select percentage now make it 60 now you see 60 plus 40 100 and then you see minimum height now you see hamburger menu style so click on it and then you see position icon size icon background and then you see icon color now make it white now you see white also you see border border type default now none now you see border remove from menu so you can increase icon size width according to requirement so it's up to you if you want you can add hover color scheme and then you see close icon icon size now open it now you see white background because we are using menu font white so now we are going to add background color now you see menu wrapper so click on it and then you see mobile background color now set it now you see so you can add color scheme according to requirement also if you want you can increase font size now you see now you see background type we set menu item style so click on it and then you see menu item typography now size now make it 20 now you see so it's up to you for mobile layout now you see close icon black again go to hamburger menu style so click on it and then scroll down you see close icon now close color make it white again now you see if you want to remove border type now none also if you want to remove border from drop down icon so you can do setting now scroll up and then you see some menu item style so click on it and then you see indicator border border type default now make it none now you see remove now expand it so you can set background color for some menu or sub drop down according to requirement now click on publish now publish done now close now on top you see tablet so click on it so this is our tablet layout so our header is done now go to website page and refresh the page now you see our header is created in elementor free version using plugin so our elementor header is done and then we are going to create footer now go to dashboard and then you see templates so click on footer and then you see create footer template so click on add new footer footer template then we are going to add condition all site and then click on create and then you see active footer template name so click on edit 
So we are in footer template and then you see plus icon so click on it and then select flex box and then select structure. So we are going to add four column layout so click on it and then you see structure added. So we are going to add first background color. Now you see edit container so click on it and then you see layout style advanced. Now go to style and then we are going to add background type. Now make it red again and then you see advanced so click on it. So we are going to add some padding first uncheck link value together. So padding top 50 padding bottom 50. So you can add any widget in footer template. Now click on plus icon. So we are going to add image drag and drop here. Now select image. So we are going to select this image in footer now select and then we are going to add text widget. So click on plus icon. Now write a text. Now editor. Now make it white. So you can make footer styling and footer design according to your requirement and then click on publish. Now publish done go to website page again and refresh the page. So this is our header and then scroll down. So this is our footer design. So you can create header and footer template according to requirement in Elementor free version plugin by using plugin. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.